If you're not getting notifications on your Galaxy S25 Ultra, whether it's from message app, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, or literally any other app, like they are not popping up either on your home or lock screen, we're going to walk you through some quick settings to fix this issue. Alright guys, so if it's happening suddenly out of the blue, make sure your device is not on DND or even power saving mode. And apart from that, what you can do is just turn on airplane mode, wait for around 10 seconds and then just go ahead and turn it off once again. Okay, now if that's not your issue, now go straight open up settings, scroll down for notification. First, we recommend you to enter lock screen notifications, make sure it's turned on and then select a style that is uh, most noticeable, you know, like cards. And additionally, you can enter show content and then just turn on notifications for all those apps that is not coming up on your lock screen. Now, after that, go back to your settings once again. Now we're going to scroll down just a bit to apps, enter. Here, all you got to do is just search for that or those specific apps. Those are not sending you any notification. For example, I'm going to search for Facebook, enter to notifications and make sure First of all, the notification in general is allowed on your device. And then just go ahead, check all these categories. And while you're here, why don't you just go ahead, open up the app and make sure notifications are not disabled from inside the app's own settings. Because in that case, no matter what you do, you won't get any notifications. Now, what I need to do is just get back to your app info settings. Now scroll down and enter battery. Here, what you have to do is make sure you haven't selected that app to send you restricted or even optimized notifications. In that case, notification will not work properly. Just make sure it's selected to send you unrestricted notifications. And after changing all these settings, just go ahead, give your S25 a simple restart. This will help settle down all these settings and also fix if there is any software glitch that's causing this problem. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.